to another episode on Dutify, my journey to becoming a product designer. Yep, I'm still trying to become a product designer. And it's 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 going good, you know? Hopefully you guys are trying to become a UX designer, UI designer, product designer, UX researcher. Follow it, you know? Accomplish it. Soon, I, soon I'll be a product designer and that'll be a really, really great, great moment for me. One maxed out MacBook Pro. One iPad Pro. One Springboard Bootcamp. Yo, this is Oscar and I'm coming back to the design world. Will these tools help me become a professional product designer within these next couple of months? Welcome to my series on Dutify, my journey to becoming a product designer. So let's move on with the video. So I'm going to talk about user stories and what they are. So user stories are actually very important when focusing on your users and what they actually uh, do and navigate throughout your product or design. So it's really like user focused and it allows for like any, any unnecessary, unnecessary steps to be avoided and kind of like put away. So it's really important to do user stories because it, it gives you like a sense of direction of how your users are using your product. So like, let's say you create an application and that in that application, you want users to sign up and following that, if, if you want them to sign up to put their name, the first name, last name, and then password, and perhaps a debit card or payment information or whatever, and then they sign up following that. So following that, then you want the user to be taken somewhere else and following that and just kind of like a story. And then you just, it just all works out, you know, and then they log out or they buy something or yeah. So that's what user story is. And the really, it's really important. And me, I went really specific on my user story and me and my mentor just had to talk, but I should go more in general because general is really good because once you go general, you could find more solutions to your your actual story and problems in 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 general. So what what user stories are really useful for for cooperation. So like let's say uh, your your whole team, the development team, design team, and other people in the team, they're more aware of like the process of the story and it, that it's targeting your user and not just like anyone but like your user for your product and it's really good for like developers to see like oh and what steps they actually have to take part in and what designers have to take part in and stuff like that it's really really useful for the whole team and it helps the team work as a whole best so another thing is that feature creeps uh feature creeps is a ui term where where a lot of unnecessary things are added and it just bulks up and it's not really a good thing because it's uh, really unnecessary things being added into like what the actual uh, user story you want and it's not really like a necessity so you really want to avoid those those future creeps so i think it's an interesting and funny term i think and following that um how do you create user story? So you create it by, by asking yourself like this, uh, this statement as a user, I want to, so that I can. So uh, the user is the person using uh, your product. So as a user, I want to do specific things. And then so that I can achieve a particular goal in mind. And that's how you're able to create your user stories. So, you just make a list throughout your whole user story, just creating this statement. That's basically all you have to do is just make a, kind of like a storyline uh, with this list and that that will help you out creating the user story. And then once you're actually done with the user, with the user story is that what you want to do is that the MVP, the minimal viable product is the valuable stuff in your story and it helps you remove any unnecessary things that are extra in there that you don't really necessarily need in a user story and you have to ask yourself is it like needed is it 
is it worth the extra effort to doing that? And yeah, so again, user stories are useful for having more solutions to your problems and also kind of creating like a uh, storyline. So quickly, I'll show you mine. And I actually used my, was it Myro? Myro? This cool website where you can actually use post notes. It's really awesome. I strongly recommend it, especially that you could share with others and others could leave comments and other things. And it's really, they could vote, they could video chat. It's really, really cool. So me and my user story, I went really specific because I'm like a designer. I've been a designer for several years already. And I think more, more specifics and more solutions and more designs in a design way, solutions in a design way. And when I was doing my user story, I was thinking like that, but I shouldn't have thought like that. I should have been more general in order to create more solutions later on. But I'm going to have to like redo this like a little bit and just like so I could know more of like my user and be more general too. That actually does help you like know more about your users. So here I have my my story and my topic is it could be any topic by the way it doesn't necessarily necessarily have to be like my topic but my topic i'm doing research on nutrition labels and understanding the values like i feel it's been a problem for many people like not to understand these labels and values you know those labels are like in food products and behind them and then you see like a food label and people don't um really like look at them or really understand them I actually interviewed people and I'm doing my capstone on that. So this is like my project on that too. So look at my previous videos, by the way, I actually had more information and more, more research based on that. So, so my, my, my user story is that the, the, the user could like sign up and then they could sign in through social share. I mean, social sign in and then you just could put their name, password, and then email in their recapture. And then personalization phase. I decided to do a personalization phase is because I wanted users to insert their, their weight, high goals, and activity levels in order for them to be shown how many carbohydrates, how many proteins, how many fats they should be consuming a day. And I think it's really good to show the user that they are actually in control because they're able to like modify specific things like the profile picture or like their activity levels. And then that's why I decided to include that in there. And I included a tutorial phase. So like after a person does that, a user does that, they will be introduced to a nutritional label where they are quickly shown how to understand and what each specifically mean like very briefly, kind of like a uh, tutorial. <laughs> and following that, the dashboard phase. So the dashboard phase, they will be taken to a personalized dashboard where they will list like how many like carbs, proteins, and fats they should be consuming per day. And then also like the daily value recommendations, like how many sodiums, how many vitamins, and, and etc. And also like lists, like the specific topics they have learned and People, users will be able to social share or share with a friend and and unlockable features will be listed there. And then courses, I thought this was really like an important thing, a feature in my, in my product where users could actually see that animation and be shown it in, an, in a specific way where they actually could memorize it and learn it like quicker than opposed to like actually just reading or watching videos and I want it to be like more interactive type of design. And then I want to ask users like multiple choice questions and users will be congratulated after they completed their course. And also they will be able to like social share the progress and continue after they actually like signed, um, logged out or signed out or left the page. So the unlock feature I wanted to include it in there is that users will be able to scan or search for products that will show them the nutritional information. So I want 
it won't be just like showing the nutritional information but it will be showing if a specific amount is too high or if a specific amount is too low and then it'll show why it's too high and why it's too low and explain it an explanation of why and also like specific colors to draw the user's attention into that and users can filter out food foods while searching users can scan items on like in the store and also recommend products to others to your friends etc and users can save and remove their products from their dashboard and following that is like the logout phase where users just log out and then they can resume after they log out so again i went really really specific on this i i really like was trying to find the solution first with um with my how how my we statements as opposed to just going more broad and general so i encourage you guys to go general and then not specific yet for user stories so i learned my lesson i have to do this kind of modify it a little bit and yeah that's the end of my my video hopefully you guys enjoyed my my content my my explanation my videos and hopefully you guys can subscribe be notified ring that that bell subscribe bell and then so you guys can be notified of my future videos I have way more videos to upload for you guys and I can't wait. Also, leave a like on this video and I would really appreciate it. So for the next one, peace out.